Hello, my name's Stuart Eastwood. I'm the CEO of Diabetes New South Wales and ACT, and I'm speaking with you today from my home. Um, and at the moment, it's my home, it's my office, uh, and with the current restrictions, it's pretty much my life as well. And I suspect many of you are in a similar boat just at the moment. COVID-19 is proving to be a time of real anxiety for many people with diabetes. You know, we hear in the news daily that people with diabetes are at much greater risk of complications from COVID-19. Um, and it's putting many of us into, um, look, a state of anxiety, a state of fear. And so I just wanted to highlight again, our psychologist on call service, uh, Catherine, with the help of our donors, um, we've been able to establish this service. It has been a real lifeline for commu our community um, and is in constant use. One of my appeals today is for your support to help us to continue with this critical service. Um, it's important and at this particular time, it's more important than ever. We really have three topics um, that I'd like to talk about. So, so one was the importance of providing that um, psychological support, mental support um, and assistance and moral support to people living with diabetes. The second one is around um, gestational diabetes. It was never heard of 30 years ago. Um, I'd never heard it when my, you know, my what we have four children when my wife was pregnant. Um, but now I hear about gestational diabetes or diabetes in pregnancy every day. We have what between one in six and one in seven pregnancies affected, and it has impacts both for the mother and for the child. And it's critical that we develop more resources that are easily understood, easily accessible, so that they can understand what it is that they need to do to keep themselves and their baby safe. Um, we urgently need support to develop these and fast track these particular resources in the market. And thirdly, we've seen a lot of work around COVID-19 and, and social distancing and flattening the curve and, and you know, all of the stories that you've heard in the news every day around what can we do to reduce the burden on our health system? And the reality is that the burden of diabetes on the health system is astronomical. And about 60% of that, in fact, can be avoided, particularly on the type two front. So when it comes to type two, we are looking to replicate a landmark study from the UK called DIRECT, which talks about a different protocol, a different way of treating diabetes, people that have been recently diagnosed with type two diabetes. And we have partner, our partnerships now with the University of Sydney and with the primary health networks to enable us to put that into place. And we would dearly ask for your support to help that because it's not about today, but this is about the future. And this may fundamentally change the future for many people that are otherwise have to live for years and years with the challenges of type two diabetes. In these times, you are not alone. We have psychologists, we have diabetes educators, dietitians, exercise physiologists, we are all only a phone call away and we are here and dedicated to serve and support you. And, and we are here every day uh, to serve our community, people living with or at risk of diabetes. But without your support, we cannot continue to deliver the services and programs that we do. So this is really an unabashed ask for your support to help us move forward with these important programs. Thank you again for watching this video. Please help us if you can.